All right, yo, welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We're back for another In the Hunt at Retro Game Trader in Beaverton, Oregon. Let's go ahead and go inside. Now, this store is a candy shop for gamers. My goodness. And you know what? We're going to go right directly to the cookies and cream. Look at these handheld mods. But the one that really stands out to me is this PC Engine Duo, which has a dual region mod coming in at a cool 795. Now, that's super highly collectible. And I definitely would love to add a, a, a duo to my collection. But here we have a cup, a few sealed PlayStation Vita games. And beneath that, we have the open box ones. And what can I say, man? PlayStation Vita is a freaking excellent system. And it's one that there's only a few more games that I want to add to my collection, like this Gravity Rush. Um, I have the digital version, but man, you know how it goes for us collectors. I want a physical freaking copy. Uh, Persona 4 Golden, the Ninja Gaiden games, Mortal Kombat. I definitely want to add Mortal Kombat to this. Uh, not sure if it's any good, but I'm kind of in a Mortal Kombat renaissance. And then we have uh, Resistance and, of course, Silent Hill Book of Memories. Now, that game's blasphemous for Silent Hill fans. But, man, I don't know. I just want to play it. And I would like to own it. <laughs> but we have Zombie Nation here for $7.99 next to a Dreamcast demo unit that's been reshelled for $7.99. And of course, beneath that, we have the glorious Dreamcast games. And from here, the one that really kind of stands out to me that I would like to play is Expendable. Um, just, a, just a B, B type of uh, run and gun. But anyhow, we have Deadly Premonition next to a sealed copy of Shenmue 2 for $349. That was freaking awesome to see both of those there. And then we have uh, Zombie Revenge. I recently beat that and I learned that it's part of the House of the Dead universe. But you know I spammed the, the, the continues because that game is cheap. But we have Giga Wing 2 for $3.99 and of course The Last Blade 2 which is a Dreamcast laser killer because it has to load all the sound effects. And of course Spawn in the Demon's Hand. Recently picked that up but I got the Japanese version at Super Potato. But we have a Sega CD, we have Dragon's Lair, and I'm just kind of naming out the games that really stand out to me. Uh, we have Lunar and of course the big heavy hitter Snatcher for a cool $1,400. And then we have the XI for 400 And the XI, uh, a little bit unreliable. At least that was my experience when I owned it. But here, Game Gear, the ones that stand out to me is Chakan, Batman and Robin, Dynamite Hetty, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Now, I like the movie, but I know the games aren't that great. But, you know, I had a great time playing them. And I learned that Sonic Blast was on the Game Gear. It's not Sonic 3D Blast, it's Sonic Blast. But anyhow, here, guilty pleasure of mine for the Saturn, Casper. I definitely would like to play that. And they had a pretty interesting selection. You know, we had Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, two other games that I would like to play. But the one that I really would like to add to my collection is NBA Jam Tournament Edition and also try out the Extreme version. Definitely going to add a Tournament Edition this year. And I'm probably going to opt for the for the Japanese releases. That's, that's going to be a little bit easier for me to come by. But interesting collection of Saturn games here. Scorcher, that's another one that I would like to play. And look at this freaking Wu-Tang controller, my goodness. And that's just giving you a little taste of this shop. Now, I'm just gonna let the, the footage uh, play here and definitely feel free to pause. But I just wanna say, don't let the prices deter you. Uh, it's just, th that's just the way that the game goes nowadays, no pun intended, you know, uh, retro game collecting, whether you're doing it in Japan or in the US, you know, prices are at an all time high. And who knows why? Probably the pandemic, uh, you know, a lot of people are more into collecting. And of course, with a lot more people reselling, even your average Joe that's not really um, um, a gamer per se, you know, everybody's just in on, on this, uh, on the game, you know what I'm saying? But anyhow, uh, 329 for Contra. But I just want to say, when I was here, I ended up trading in a few of my uh, US games that I, I didn't really care for or that I had doubles and a few other uh, Japanese games and I ended up getting a whopping 1200 bucks and that's really the way to do it. Now these guys, um, I feel they have a, a pretty generous uh, trade in credit program and I'm never disappointed with the quotes that I get. And that's how I get a lot of these heavy hitting games. In fact, I get, yeah, like I said, I got 1200 bucks and I blew it all. And it was all with games that, man, I had a list. 
I had a I had a hit list and I, um, I pretty much crossed everything off that I wanted. But we have Zombies Ate My Neighbors here. Let's focus on the games at hand. We have uh, Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel for $2.99. I heard a lot of good things about that one. Um, and then Super Turricane 2, freaking awesome game for $2.79. And we have SWAT Cats in the back for $1.19. Super Turricane 2, man, that's going to drop on the Switch pretty soon. And then we have Hagane the Final Conflict for $9.99 or a thousand bucks pretty much but if you noticed on that game as well as final fight 3 here is they're pretty honest with uh with what they've done which is you know they've they've stuck on a reproduction label because the original was likely damaged and that's one thing when you buy here you're going to be getting stuff that's legit or you know you're going to know exactly what's going on with uh with the game that you might be interested in but we have burger man here for 99 bucks always wanted to play that one and then in the back we have arrow fighters for 7.99 i had no idea that that was up that high and then we have captain novelin not sure what that is not really my cup of tea but we have earthbound for 459 and of course biker mice from mars for 105 and of course chuck rock that's another game I've been wanting to play, and then that's that's uh, resting on a, on a copy of Chrono Trigger and Dennis the Menace for twelve bucks. And uh, what else do we have here? We have Cutthroat Island, uh, and of course Congo's Caper for thirty four. Been years since I played that one, but they had a pretty good selection as well as of uh, Nintendo sixty four games. Now this one is this is a this is a machine that I don't have too much nostalgia for, mainly because I didn't grow in, grow up with uh, owning one. But I, I, you know, friends would loan it to me and I would loan them out my Sega Saturn and my PlayStation, whatever. But still, definitely an awesome system. You know, Rayman 2 is one that I would really love to try. We have Vigilante 8, Second Offense, next to Worms Armageddon for $2.99. But that Vigilante 8, Second Offense, freaking love that game. And of course, the classic Turok Trilogy and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Anyhow, here we go. GameCube. Now this is a system that's freaking skyrocketing in price as of late, and I don't know. This is this is actually the one of the first, uh, or if not, or maybe the second uh, sixth generation uh, system that I owned. With the Dreamcast being the first, and then from there I jumped on board to the GameCube. Freaking love the GameCube, man. We have Ikaruga for 99 bucks. We have Zelda for days. I mean, look at all that Zelda action that they have in stock. And yeah, it's a, it's a great system. I had a I had a uh, I had a blast playing it, especially the Resident Evil games, and those are the games that really sold me on the system. But Chibi Robo, that's one that I would really like to try. Uh, it seems like it's a pretty cool game, and I believe the 3DS also got like a, a prequel or a sequel of some sorts. And that's a you know it's another game that I would like to try. But we have a uh, Paper Mario there for 139. I'm telling you, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a pricey system. And 3DS, freaking love this system. Not going to show too much, but that Rayman 3D, I regret not picking that up. That's one game. I'm telling you, I'm a big Rayman fan, and I never even I never even knew it. But I just find myself coming back to that series. But the DS, now this is another freaking awesome system. And I actually owned a DS before I got into the, into the PlayStation Portable, which I got into the PSP hard, man, I'm not going to lie. But the DS freaking love this system as well. And I think my collection is sitting at a cool like five games. And four of those are freaking sealed and I'm going to leave them sealed. And uh, Resident Evil Deadly Silence is one of my sealed games. And uh, freaking love that version of Resident Evil, man. But yeah, it also got a lot of Sonic games. A lot of great Sonic games available for the DS. But freaking classic system. And then here, the Nintendo Switch oh man if you've been watching my channel you know i freaking love this system in fact all my unboxing videos are usually of freaking switch games but their collection their assortment of switch games was so freaking impressive in fact there's only one place that might have more or can match them and that's going to be their sister store uh, retro game trader out in hillsborough oregon both of these locations are just my goodness in fact you're going to see your Amazon wish list of Switch games here at this store. It's going to be in stock. We have Battle Axe, Battle Chasers, Battle Chef, Battle Princess. All those are great games. Actually, I don't know too much about Battle Chef, but I'm sure it's a great game. Freaking A. But there's just so much, uh, there's just so much Switch. I freaking love it. 
And like I said, I, I pretty much saw my entire uh, Amazon wish list here. And of course, some of the games are going to be maybe higher priced. But you know what? If you value your time and they have it, it makes sense. I say go for it. But of course, well, always be responsible. <laughs> because, you know, like Blazing Chrome here for 109 I freaking, uh, I kind of wish I would have got that, man. I had the store credit. I should have done it. Freaking sealed. I freaking love that game. And I actually played it and beat it on the Xbox One, but I definitely want to have a physical, physical copy for the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, like if you come to this store, man, you better have a list of games. Don't be coming in here, especially don't be coming in here on an empty stomach because you're going to end up spending like like crazy. <laughs> and it's just like I'm telling you, man, there's just so much candy here, like Grandia there. Definitely want to get that. Um, what else here? It's just uh, even, even the pacing is a little bit quick for me. But you know how it goes. There's just so much to see here. Uh, like this Max game. I'm, I wonder what that's about. I heard those little nightmare games are pretty good. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, Toki. I bought a copy of that, uh, but I got it here in Japan. Um, what else do we have? Um, Okami. I have a copy of that as well. Freaking great game, especially on the Switch. But we have the Psycho Shooting Collection there. Uh, freaking love those games. Um, we have the Namco Collection. That uh, Arcade Pack Collection is worth it just for Splatterhouse, man. Freaking love that collection, and I love me some splatter house but we have uh art types dimensions freaking great to see that one in physical form and the remothered games i heard a lot of great things about those definitely would like to try those and then kill you see i judge games on their cover sometimes man and sometimes it does pay off in fact that's what i did with shin megami tensei 3 way back on the playstation 2 saw that cover knew i had to have it and it was one of my uh, best uh, PS2 choices I've ever made. Freaking love that game. And I also have it on Switch, and these guys have it. But here's like the final uh, like eight foot section, but I'm telling you, it's just, uh, it's impressive. It's really impressive. Now next to this section, I actually didn't show it, but they do have a large selection of clearance games. So there's definitely deals to be had, but take a look at this. Now this is another impressive um, display of Xbox games. You know, we have original Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox for days. We have Conan, that's that's the, the game that I'm currently playing on the, on the 360. And of course, the Call of Juarez games, the Call of Duty games, a lot of great shooters, Crisis, Crackdown, uh, Condemned. Um, what else do we have here? We have Deadly Premonition, which I believe is Xbox One X enhanced. So there you go. But anyhow, PlayStation 2, once again, another system that they just had oodles and oodles of games for. And actually, there was quite a bit that I wanted to get, uh, like Haunting Ground here for $5.49. And I bought that way back in the day for less than 20 bucks, but of course got rid of it because you just don't know what you have <laughs> until, you, until you lose it, right? But then we have Silent Hill here, and I can't believe Shattered Memories uh, shot up in price like that, $3.19. That is freaking insane in the brain. And then here, now the one that stands out here for me personally is Onimusha 3. I definitely want to pick up a copy. Not necessarily to keep for my collection, but I definitely would like to play it just to get that experience. And then we have Predator Concrete Jungle. That's new to me. Didn't even realize. I'm not really a big fan of Predator to begin with, but that cover was pretty cool, gotta say. And here we have the Maximo games, actually Maximo and Army of Zin. Those, those are definitely highly recommended. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of memory card space, so I wasn't able to show too much PlayStation 3. But the section was about like 8 to 12 feet. And you know what? It's probably a good thing that I don't show everything so that when you guys, if you ever get the chance to go, you can, be, you can find your own surprises. But man, this, this store is great. Gotta say it is great. But anyhow, let's go to the final section. We have PlayStation 1. And as I mentioned earlier, um, I ended up trading in some games. I got about 1200 bucks, and I pretty much blew it all on PlayStation 1 games. I had my list, and I pretty much crossed everything off the list, except for one title, which was Lomax. Now, they did have The Adventures of Lomax in stock, but unfortunately, it was missing the manual. And if you, speaking about missing uh, components or whatever, 
if you notice, some of these games have red dots, and that's what that means is that it could be missing the manual. I don't know, I'm not sure what the yellow dot means, but it could be a little bit of, bit of uh, scratches or damage to the case. But they do have resurfacing uh, uh, options here. But anyhow, we have Persona for $549. That's highly collectible. We have Porsche Challenge for $18. Bucks. That's a freaking sweet game. We have PO'd for $55. We have freaking Pink Panther for $119. Parasite Eve 2 for 189 although I'm going to be playing that off of uh, the PlayStation Network. And we have one Omega Boost, uh, R-Types, R4, Rage Racer, just a load of freaking uh, class titles here. And then we have Ray Tracers for 39 I never, I, I didn't know that that got a North American release. I thought that was one of those left in Japan type titles. But we have Reloaded and of course Resident Evil. But anyhow guys, that's going to do it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it in the next episode we're gonna go to their sister store they had a lot of sega nintendo xbox playstation atari you name it we're gonna check it out anyhow my name is jj thank you for checking out retro rewire and i hope to see you all very very soon ciao